What we have here is the York compound, the original York compound, the very first engine that John York made after he made his patterns and castings. Um, it's a uh, three and five by three and three quarter inch stroke, um, piston valve high pressure and slide valve low pressure. A nice, very long legged engine, very long connecting rods, very long eccentric rods it's to reduce angularity and reduce slotting in the Stevenson Link reverse gear. Uh, it's an integral, uh, integral um, thrust bearing. Sorry, had a, a brain fart there for a second. Um, the crankshaft is one piece, a one piece crankshaft made from steel plate that he heated, cut the throws out and then heated up in the middle and turned, twisted at 90 degrees and then finished machined it. You can see that the, the throws, the crank throws are actually hollow. He bored those out to reduce rotating mass. Um, the counterweights are separate and he took great care in making sure that things were balanced as best as possible with a 90 degree crank. If you look at the, the crosshead guides, he hand scraped the crosshead guides, taking great care in fitting those. And you can still see the, the scrape marks. So. A testament to his workmanship. Come around to the back here. We have walking beam activating the condensate pump here and the feed pump here. Uh, condensate pump pulls wet air, or also known as a wet air pump, pulls condensate and air out of the condenser after it's been exhausted. The exhausting goes into the condenser condenses back in water and the condensate pump pumps that out and then returns it to the hot well and then the, the feed pump pumps from the hot well into the boiler. Turn the back around over right here. So this engine was originally in this boat. And uh, then back in the late 80s, early 90s, John removed it out of the boat and sold the engine and boiler. Uh, and after 30 years, um, my father and I purchased the hull, the boat, and then still knew the friend that had the boiler and got the boiler from him. And then uh, through some sleuthing, um, I was able to locate the original engine, and John York confirmed that it was the original engine due to the, cr the machine of the crank, the lagging, the, the uh, oil box, or drip feed oiler on the, the back of the, the engine, and some other details, and he confirmed that it was indeed the very first engine, the original engine. And so, um, with the owner at the time, who intended to put it in the, his Museum of Contemporary Steam Engines. Um, I was able to um, articulate and plead my case for putting it in the boat, and uh, he acquiesced and, and sold me the engine. So now I have the original engine, the original hull, and the original boiler, and we hope to, or we are planning to, and, and working on reuniting all of them together. Over the years, there's been some wear on the engine, the die blocks uh, in the, the valve gear. So there's a little uh, piece of bearing bronze in there or brass in there and there. Um, those have worn down a bit, which is to be expected. They're, they have a hard life. Um, and a couple other little things, bearing clearances that need to be taken out. But otherwise, the engine is, has uh, had a very done very well and has survived all these years largely intact and, and with needing very little maintenance. Um, I'll probably 
talk with John York and, and see about maybe commissioning him to make new dye blocks for it and uh, anything else he sees fit. Um, but for now, let's just see it run. I have it on air, I know, sacrilegious, but uh, we're gonna just do it on air. Um, and then in the near future, we'll do steam, of course. And here we go. And yes, I've oiled everything. I even gave it a shot of oil in the main steam line so that you don't have to panic or be pedantic and uh, complain about lack of oil. It, is, it does have oil. You can hear a little bit of the, the uh, bearing clearances. Um, John said that there's an improved reversing lever that reduces that walking motion. Um, so I'll be modifying it with that in the future. Take it off this. I guess I could unrestrict the exhaust here so I can breathe. Yeah. I even gave it a few shots of oil on the feed pump and the condensate pump to ensure that they're not running dry. So there's a few things that need clearances taken up on, but largely it's run perfectly. And this is with barely with the barely, throttle barely cracked and just on air, so air has no. Once it's ex so once air is expanded in the high pressure cylinder, it doesn't really have much power at all. Um, and the uh, right now the low pressure cylinder is pretty much along for the ride. But, like I said, the throttle's barely cracked and uh, still poking along. There's very little effort to turn the engine over. John really did an outstanding job building this engine.